before 2, 70 degrees. Cloudy today, mild tomorrow. CKLW 2020 News. The United Auto Workers Union laid it on the line for American Motors today. It must meet the union demands despite its shaky financial condition. Those demands include fat pay hikes, guaranteed annual salaries and profit sharing, better health insurance benefits were added to the list today. A mayor's committee has officially recommended that Detroit build a huge sports stadium. The 19-member committee recommended a $42 million facility that would seat 50,000 people. It would be located on a 77-acre site at the Michigan State Fairgrounds. Committee Chairman Ralph McElveen he says the stadium would be adaptable for the Olympics. There are a lot of questions that have been asked. How about the Olympic Games? Well, we have studied that and we believe that uh, by careful architectural work, the stadium can be designed initially so that it can readily be adapted to uh, the Olympic Games in events that Detroit should be successful in its uh, bid for them. Warren Mayor Ted Bates has lashed out at real estate men who allegedly have been selling property in the path of the proposed I-696 freeway. The mayor said four persons registered complaints with him that they had unknowingly bought property due to be condemned by the freeway. Bates says he intends to file a protest of unethical procedures against real estate men involved in the practice. A man drowned in the Detroit River behind Cobo Hall today. Despite police attempts to save him, the man is identified as 56-year-old John Adam Steyer of Detroit. Officials say they heard the man call for help, threw him a life ring. The man grabbed it but lost his grip and drowned. The police in the city agree on non-economic issues. Police Commissioner Ray Girardin and DPOA President Carl Parcell today sent the sticky question of pay raises for police to fact-finding. In announcing agreement on major non-economic issues in the contract, Girardin and Parcell said they have asked Bishop Emmerich's Blue Ribbon Citizens Committee to select seven fact-finders. Both sides will then select three of those. The three-man panel will then attempt to resolve the remaining issues which Girardin says include the question of payment for overtime work during the recent sick call boycott and pay hikes. Jim Brooker, CKLW 2020 News. The CKLW Woman of the Hour is Mrs. Joanne Jones of Melbourne, Australia. Mrs. Jones gave birth today to quadruplets after taking a fertility drug. Her new son and three daughters are all reported healthy and she is in excellent condition. The fertility drug developed in Sweden has led to previous multiple births. Within the space of two days in 1965, two women, one in Sweden and one in New Zealand, gave birth to quintuplets. A woman pedestrian was killed this morning in the Southfield Freeway. Police are unable to say why Mrs. Mrs. Bertie Hamilton, the victim, was walking on the high-speed freeway. The first person to reach her was truck driver John Crow. The woman walked out from the Plymouth Road ramp, and she didn't look to the left or the right. She just walked directly in front of traffic, and a truck swerved, and he just missed her, and the car that was next to her uh, hit her. The accident occurred on the Southfield Freeway just south of Plymouth Road. A Windsor couple and their three young children escaped injury in a two-alarm fire at their home this morning. Mr. and Mrs. Louis Meniers and their children, ranging in age from three to six, were taken to Metropolitan Hospital for treatment of smoke inhalation. Damage to the home was estimated at $6,000. A battle against Molotov cocktails in New York. Fire Commissioner Robert Lowry set out to smash a tiger and instead stomped on a bunch of pussycats. The commissioner, concerned over the use of so-called Molotov cocktails, resurrected a 1938 section of the Fire Prevention Code. It prohibits the sale of gasoline in anything smaller than a 55-gallon tank equipped with rubber wheels and a hose. This, he figured, would kill the sale of small quantities of gasoline for use in the fire bombs. But it soon developed. Motorists stranded on a highway can't pick up a small can of gasoline to get them to the nearest service station. And thousands of homeowners can no longer refill their keep-at-home cans for the family lawnmower. Lowry says he's getting out a quick letter to all the gas stations in the city. It explains that it's okay to help stranded motorists and the battlers of crabgrass. Ed McCarthy in New York. Jack Nicklaus has the early second round lead in the British Open Golf Tournament. He shot a three under par 69 today. The Detroit Tigers are in second place today. One and a half games back to the first place Chicago White Sox. Tonight, the Tigers see action against the Senators in Washington. All the scores all season. First from CKLW 2020 News. There's another big week of cash savings waiting for you at Steinberg's. Just listen to this saving on Heinz tomato ketchup. Five 11 ounce bottles, only one dollar. The saving, 35 cents. That's right, you'll save 35 cents on your purchase of five 11 ounce bottles of Heinz tomato ketchup. Stock up on this favorite solid mate Miracle Whip salad dressing. 32 ounce jar, only 59 cents. If you're planning an outdoor barbecue this weekend, be sure to have plenty of Ice Castle ice cream on hand. Your favorite flavors, only 19 cents a pint. 
So for true cash savings each and every week, shop the Steinberg way. You'll be glad you did. And don't forget to pick up your Centennial Polka record for just $1. All profits will go to the Indian Eskimo Association of Canada, a Steinberg Centennial project. And then Gary Mitchell plays much more music. Partly cloudy, chance of showers today, high 75, cloudy and cool tonight, low 55. Cloudy tomorrow, high 74, fair on Saturday. Water temperature at the fun beaches, Lake Erie 66, Lake St. Clair 70. The present temperature is 70. Don Patrick, CKLW 2020 News. Radio 8, CKLW.